Power down your Apple iPhone 7 phone. Eject the Nano SIM card tray. Remove the two bottom 3.4 mm pentalobe screws located next to the lightning connector. Use a precision knife to create enough space to insert a triangle opening tool. With the triangle opening tool, slice through the sticky adhesive and carefully decouple the iPhone 7 display assembly from the rear case. Unlike previous iPhone models, the iPhone 7 opens just like a book, along the side instead of at the top. The display assembly is still connected to the iPhone by cables along the middle right side, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following four tri-point screws, securing the bracket that covers the battery connector and two of the display cables. These screws are different sizes, so be sure to remember where they go. With the bracket out of the way, spudge up the cables from the logic board. Remove the following two Phillips screws that secure the bracket covering the upper component display cable. Disconnect the cable and free the iPhone 7 display assembly from the phone. Remove the following six Phillips screws followed by the metal clip they secure in place. Easily extract the stereo enabling speaker. Use the tweezers to help remove the tangled up 7 megapixel iPhone 7 front facing camera cable assembly. It includes the front facing camera, microphone, proximity sensor and ambient light sensor. Remove the following four tri-point screws and then the metal bracket. Separating the solid state iPhone 7 Plus home button is simple, with only light adhesive on the cable and no delicate gasket. Remove the following six tri-point screws. Use the spudger to release the adhesive from beneath the bottom of the iPhone 7 LCD shield plate. In place of the headphone jack is a barometric vent Remove the following two Phillips screws and then lift it out of the iPhone 7 rear case. Disconnect the Taptic engine from the logic board. Remove the following three Phillips screws and tweeze out the iPhone 7 Taptic engine. This sleek engine uses haptic feedback to simulate the push of a button. Locate the two peel to remove adhesive tabs at the bottom of the iPhone 7 battery. Grab the first tab and try to keep the adhesive strip flat and wide. Slowly and gently pull each strip up and away from the iPhone 7. The strips will stretch to many times the length of the battery. Keep pulling until they come out from between the battery and the rear case. And just like that, out pops the 1960 milliampere hour 3.8 volt iPhone 7 battery. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Remove the protective metal cover. With the spudger in hand, disconnect the 12 megapixel iPhone 7 rear facing camera and pry it out of the chassis.
Remove the following four Phillips screws. Plug out the top left Wi-Fi antenna. Before digging the iPhone 7 logic board out of the rear case, it is necessary to attack a bevy of Phillips, tripoint, and standoff screws, and dispatch of a few connectors. After taking care of the last two connectors, carefully uproot the iPhone 7 logic board out of the rear case. Remove the following four Phillips screws. Eradicate the iPhone 7 loudspeaker. Remove the following five Phillips screws. Use the tweezers to separate the microphones from the speaker grill plugs. The iPhone 7 Lightning connector assembly is moderately adhered to the rear case, but with a little sputtering, it is readily removed. This everything cable includes the lightning port, an antenna, and two microphones. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Extract the antenna flex cable, which acts as a bridge between antenna pathways. Remove the standoff screw, and then the bracket. Remove the following five Phillips screws. The last component to surrender is a cable array that contains the power and volume button switches, LED flash, a microphone, and the ring silent switch. The iPhone 7 power and volume buttons are nuzzled securely in the rear case, defying conventional removal.